I don't think anybody really cares about the truth of any of this. People are just using this as a platform to hate on Logan Paul and Mr. Beast because... Let's go! He said what I said. People just love to hate! There is new drama around Mr. Beast, of course. Working out with Chris Hemsworth, riding roller coasters in Canada, posting videos on his main channel, even starting a new Lunchables competitor. It seems like Mr. Beast really isn't concerned with making a statement to silence the allegations. Allegations that started with this channel here and its three part expose series. Ex employee is making waves by claiming that everything about Mr. Beast's empire is fake. Is it Dog Watch? Dog Pack? Dog Bark? Dog Pack? Dog Pack 404. Who is Dog Pack 404? Why are some people calling him a disgruntled employee and others calling him a hero? Well, today I'm going to be speaking with him directly to find out the legitimacy of his story, get him to clear up some allegations, and have him uncover some new claims that have never been heard before. I made it in that video sound like there was only one look. It's, it's funny how people like drama. Quayle victim, which was the most corroborated, which was his personal assistant. But now I'm thinking there's multiple. In my opinion, I think he's a textbook abuser, verbally abusing or berating, screaming at people in the office. A lot of um, abusive treatment of employees. Yeah, he's beating people. <laughs> Uh, sure. Hello everyone, welcome back to The Asher Show, Dawson or Dogpack404, a YouTube channel that spawned out of the blue on June 15th, 2024, and that dropped a bombshell of a video a month later. I worked for Mr. Beast, he's a fraud. Ever since then, there has been a tremendous amount of commentary channels and news outlets keeping up with his uploads because he has been telling the behind the scenes horrors of Mr. Beast's empire, a subject that was briefly discussed before but fell on deaf ears. Ex-editors like Matt Turner were met with backlash back in 2018 for trying to speak out about his experience. It does get annoying when the person that everyone knows as a saint, you know as someone who is the complete opposite. And even ex-contestants like Rosanna Pansino got raked through the coals for even suggesting a Mr. Beast competition wasn't handled correctly in 2023. People may not be wanting to hear this or willing to hear it right now, and I think you know, time will do its thing. I think the truth always surfaces. But now, ever since Dawson has spoken up, people are beginning to listen. It's now been one month and three videos later, and it seems like mainstream outlets are trying to get in contact with Dawson. This is the DM from someone on The Pierce Morgan Show trying to get an interview. But there's been a lot of skeptics. A portion of the commentary community who are commentary in contact with Dawson. Well, this is the DM from from someone on the Pierce Morgan show trying to get an interview. But there's been a lot of skeptics. A portion of the commentary community who are rallying behind the owning up of Mr. Beast's allegations are starting to change their tune. People saying that he's pushing false- Bro, everyone is doing the same thing, look. A portion downfall, Mr. Beast. Satisfying downfall, downfall, downfall. Why they hate? How, how is it possible someone to not be cancelled? I feel like it's impossible. At some point, someone will find something bad for you, which is inevitable because we are human beings. And they will start judging you for this one thing only because everyone wants to watch drama. Commentary community who are Basically, rallying that's behind dope. the owning up of Mr. Beast's allegations are starting to change their tune. People saying that he's pushing false allegations to 2 million people. Others saying that he should have waited to come out with a third video. So I decided to speak with Dawson directly and try and clear up some of the questions that people may have had and uncover some new allegations. I thought we could talk and clear some things up. You reach 677,000 subs. 30 million views in only three videos. In the first video you covered selling gambling to kids and fake videos. The second was the Jake Weddle experience. Wait, 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 wait. I thought he we could talk and clear some things up. You reached 677,000 subs, 30 million views in only three videos. In the first video you covered selling gambling. Covered or discover. Fake videos, Mr. B secret formula. Gambling to kids. Lottery defied. A lottery is an any shame that contains all three of the following elements in the de definition illegal. I mean, at some point you have to pay for something that big, it's obvious. But that's not gambling, bro. It's in fake videos. The second was the Jake Weddle experience and then Jamie hiring a registered sex offender. Yeah. And the third was about the CEO and the COO, James Warren and LaCoya Hill. So what was your original goal with these videos? I don't know, it was originally going to be very different, and then it's just going to be the knowledge that I had and, and accrued uh, through my research, uh, and I was going to cover philanthropy and all this other stuff. I mean, I just, my goal was just to 
shine light on the things that I thought were problematic and I brought up as being problematic uh, during my time at the company. And even before the company, like people found my old Reddit account uh, with like comments about yes. promoting gambling or whatever, or like not doing the sweepstakes properly, which I thought was shady. And then I brought those problems up at the company. I sort of felt like the, uh, I felt like a waiter on the Titanic being like, yo, iceberg. And they're like, no, there's no iceberg. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, so I just thought it would it it would turn into if it kept escalating or if they kept doing these uh, unethical practices, I guess that it would it would turn into a Logan Paul situation or a David Dobrik situation. So originally I was trying to like help the company, uh, but then yeah, so I posted that first video about my biggest issues with the company, which was promoting gambling and selling fake signatures and faking videos and just like. I, the, the, the lengths they promoting go to gambling the videos are real when it's like they're totally not it's just bullshit to me. I, I don't um, know about Mr. Beast promoting gambling and then I was going to talk about crypto and philanthropy and whatever and then Jake Weddle reached out and he's like hey I have a story and uh, he gave me the news of the, the registered sex offender so I was like holy shit let's cover that uh. I also had DMs after I posted the first video about some like sexual assault stuff which I also heard rumored at the company uh, during my time there but I thought it was just going to be like sort of the LaCoya thing and maybe a, a couple other instances. But after that video, I got hundreds of DMs and not all of them were real. Like probably 30% of them were either trolls or, you know, possibly Jimmy's crisis management team trying to muddy the waters. Um, so, yeah, I I wanted to cover that. Um, but then there's like big moral dilemmas with covering things without the victim's permission and like some stories have more evidence than others and uh it, it was all just allegations yeah but i just wanted to like people were like hey this is happening this is happening and you should talk about it so i talked about it so- uh i feel like he said nothing for the past three so after your second video it seemed like everybody had their eyes on you people were saying oh he's, he's shadow banned on and youtube's watching you and Instagram banned you for some reason, even though you were only using it to talk to victims and you weren't posting on there. Did you ever get it back? No, I haven't got it back. I got an email, it was like impersonation. But then I like verified my phone number and it says it's like waiting or whatever. Like they're looking into it. Mr. Beast hired a PR team. He hired a celebrity lawyer. You got hit with a cease and desist from that celebrity lawyer. Like does any of that worry? I feel like Mr. Beast doesn't give a fuck about this guy, but uh, sure. He's hiring someone to ban your account or something. Like, who cares? Are you at all? Uh, no. I mean, I have to eat. I have good legal I'm hungry backing. too. Like, I don't know how much I want to spill the tea on on the legal strategy and everything, but I, I don't. I think it's pretty well known that they wouldn't want to like go to discovery. And there's a lot of people who speak to me anonymously because they have NDA contracts. But uh, if they were subpoenaed in court, then they could obviously they'd be free to you know cook Mr. Beast alive. So. It's not, yeah. it's not a major concern. Yeah. Cooking and, stream. And One day we will do cooking stream. Following my contracts, <laughs> of course. Speaking of Mr. Beast's lawyer, Alex Spiro, he's from New York. He's worked with Elon Musk, Jay-Z, Alec Baldwin. He deals with defamation. I have a friend that, that knows him, and he tells me that um, PR teams usually, like you said, feed false information to, <laughs> to try and get you to, like the fame or slander their client. After your first two videos, you said a lot of people, you asked people to reach out to you and DM you. A lot of them were fake, obviously, but was there any specific fake DM that you got that you realized, oh, this definitely isn't real? Yeah, there was one really strange one. I can send you the screenshots of it. It's from this account, Linda Smith. Can I? In August, no, don't tell me. No it's... Activity, which, you know... uh, it's whole interview with this guy. He's not saying anything. Okay, I want to see what Asmon Goat want to say about it. He, he, uh, he, at least he will say something. Sexual harassment at this company. Yeah. It's not the first time we've heard about issues with their competitions. And when you're that big, of course, everyone wants to destroy you. That's a normal thing. And people try to find bad stuff for you. And there is, of course, bad stuff in you. Every person has. We're not perfect. We're human beings. It's just a formalized version of those mm-hmm. problems in one ice. And I don't like this that every, every thing that goes viral most of the time like most of the time is something bad happens to someone else or we're looking to the bad stuff because humans really like to hate they really like 
the drama. They want someone to suffer. So, admittedly, a very yeah. large production with an emphasis on contestants qualifying as employees <coughs> to expand the scope. Mm -hmm. But even if we make the jump and talk about actual employees here, not regular contestants now claimed to be employees, the picture doesn't get any Ooh, better. Is. Beast Games has filmed in China Pans, which states that uh, the uh, union huh? workers were prohibited from working on set. Oh For my anyone God! Who doesn't know the IATSE is the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees. And I can't necessarily speak further on this because I haven't seen the actual email. But what I can speak further on is the ACTRA, which is the Alliance of Canadian Cinema, Television, and Radio Artists, which has publicly posted "Do Not Work" notices on their bulletin. Oh to be my fair, God! Non-union productions aren't exactly uncommon. You can have a television show that does not work directly with these unions. Yeah, Absolutely. sure. But see. Normal productions don't result in their contestants getting frequently hospitalized. Normal pro <laughs> chaos. You say the chaos. I mean, how many people died on Survivor? It was like three or four, right? <laughs> okay. Mr. Beast has one worker named Chris. He transformed himself to girl. And some new came out that Chris was pedo and was typing, trying to understand. Ah! Typing to underaged boy, and people said that Mr. Beast knew about that and still didn't fire him. How people know about this? I mean, how people, Mr. Beast is supposed to know about this? And, like, imagine if you know s such a thing about your worker, you can fire him. Ah, that's super dumb because, like, they're trying to attack someone who is not even evolved. They're punishing Mr. Beast for his worker's. Bad stuff. Is he like super important, uh, like worker or something, or he's like a random? I feel like a lot of these shows are like, yeah, they do. Like, yeah, you want to have people get killed on the show. <laughs> people died. Yeah, of course. Not in one season. You're right. Survivor. How many of you knows about bets of Survivor? I mean, I didn't know, but apparently they're. You're right. It took. It, they had to build up to that. Productions aren't starving their contestants with inadequate meals uh -huh. and then feeding them shitty chocolate bars in front of a camera <laughs> telling them to say how much they love it. Oh, you love that Beastables bar, don't you, for free advertising? Oh my Normal god. Normal productions aren't losing contestants' underwear and depriving women on their- Bro, starving them of food and then making them eat Mr. Beast Feastables? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh my god. Is that true? Period this is of their a South personal episode. This is a, withholding it, proper treatment. Bro, it's like he's Jigsaw or something. Yeah, it, it's nuts. Like, it's crazy how... How much different, really, like... Is this from, like, a horror movie? He's a villain! He's a villain! Ah, <laughs> uh, Chris Tyson. Chris Tyson ate... seen this guy and he's trans now so he has a son and he's still trans that's weird i feel like people are just super messy right now i mean i'm not judging i hate to be i hate to judge people i feel like it's it's strange for you to have a son you need a wife right to reproduce you need to be man and wife so you can have a child but then you are trans you want to be woman uh, it's like uh, it's like someone is super boring, ha has nothing to do with his life, and they just do this. How you want a kid, how you want a wife, and then you want to be a girl. I can explain it all. I have to send you a clip of the whole situation. Oof. I hate drama. I just wanted to know what is happening with Mr. Beast and why everyone is hating him. Yes, it's amazing. Randomly from nowhere. Like, uh, so, so, so many years he was like the top, the top uh, YouTuber. Everyone was so happy, and then I guess the the money disappeared finally. Mr. Beast is not giving them enough money, and they want more, and he's not giving them more. So they're trying to ruin the life. Who knows? People are them. It's inhumane, yes. I could go on, like how normal productions don't misplace medications or hire uh -huh. registered sex offenders, but I think most people get them. Like you said, people are trying to destroy him. 
I mean, it's it's obviously like this. This is happening with every person in YouTube. Everyone will try to hate you for something. It doesn't matter what. You cannot be perfect. It doesn't matter what you do. I I, I know one thing. If you open a YouTube video about something doing really good about uh, cheering or how is helping kids in Africa or something, someone will find this bad. If you open it. I mean, right now you cannot see it, but before that, you can open such a video for someone helping kids in Africa because they are hungry and stuff. Let's say 5 or 10% of the people dislike this. There is a reason why YouTube removed the dislike button. People just dislike this. And of course, you can find even bad comments about it. The point. Yeah, that was There's all basically the other stuff, three different yeah. angles right now. Even if first was the Ava Chris Tyson fiasco. Mm -hmm. I don't need to go in depth on that. It's mostly in the past anyway, but it opened yep. the door for a lot more stuff to come out as the carefully cultivated I'm the perfect golden boy, look at me atmosphere began showing signs of weakness. Second was the workplace culture allegations from Dogpack 404, which is kind of ongoing in a sense, where it came out that the company had knowingly hired sex offenders, yes. run dozens of alleged illegal Here you see he don't want to get in depth with it uh -huh. go lotteries and a whole Ooh. bunch more that i've covered super in depth already so no need to rehash but then third is the beast game stuff and that's where i think the company is genuinely the most vulnerable right now amazon brought them in for a hundred million dollar production it's like wow. the biggest game show in history apparently they are now making headlines repeatedly as people get hospitalized injured or mistreated and now they're getting sued because they screwed up so bad so many times, the lawyers found an actual opening. I hate to say this, but I think this is going to be a situation like Grand Theft Auto, where it's like, when people hear that like this show was such chaos and it was so bad, <clears throat> I, I could see people wanting to watch it because of that, right? I mean, I, I actually, I think that could happen. Could Amazon be held liable? Well, of course. Yeah, the, the lawsuit... See, Mr. Beast is like, Mr. Beast is big, right? <laughs> but we're talking about Amazon here, okay? There, There's a question as to whether the Mr. Beast brand is worth a billion dollars, right? Like, is it or not? Nobody really knows. There's no question that Amazon is worth multiple trillions of dollars. Okay. Like I it's said not earlier, even this lawsuit remotely will close. almost certainly disappear. It's from not here one forward, one thousandth the size it of goes Amazon. To a back rooms, some money changes hands, easy peasy. No more Lemon public squeezy. scrutiny for that one. But there's also the issue of what they're choosing to actually mm -hmm. respond to. When I say respond, right, I mean public statements because they there's should. plenty of responses, other responses, if you know where to look. Yeah. Like how they got accused of running illegal lotteries, and then, then they, they deleted frantically everything. deleted every single yeah. trace of those live streams that they could find. Smart. Which I would mm -hmm. personally call Smart. a cover up. But again, I talked about that before. Yeah. The thing is, when it comes to actual human human interaction, mm -hmm. personal responses to address concerns, criticisms, or other issues, there's basically nothing. The only thing they have done is come out and defend their new Lunchables alternative, Ooh, which is probably true. the least interesting or impactful. I hate this name. Lunchly is such a shitty word. <laughs> like, I, I really do. I think Lunchables sounds way better. Like, every time I try to think of the word Lunchly, I think Lunchables in my head. I'm really not a fan of the name. Fansly? Yeah, but Fansly doesn't have, like, it's not like... I don't think fansies is bad. I I hear lunchly and I think lunchables. So what is Criticism. that? Pizza, chocolate, and drink? Is that it? Huh? That anyone could possibly have of them. Just to quickly explain, lunchly Mr. just Beast, doesn't KSI sound good. Guy and Logan Paul of all people have decided mm -hmm. to launch some sort of yeah. garbage ass lunchables competitor right now. Which oh yeah, and and I, I you know what? Maybe I should try this. Mm -hmm. I should try this and see if it's any better. Like, compare it with, like, uh, Lunchables. Get, like, three of each. People are complaining is unhealthy, and it probably is. But Let's that's see, what, what they decided to collectively respond about. Yeah. To be completely honest, it makes sense. Avoid the hard-hitting problems and fixate on whatever small thing you can find where it's not a big deal and the critics look like they're nitpicking. Because they probably don't even... Well, the reason why he's doing it, and so this is a good strategy 
is that all internet controversy, and I've said this before, everything has an expiration date. Whatever people care about a lot right now, nobody will care about in two or three years. Like, for example, sure. look at COVID. Like, COVID has gone up recently. And it's, it, Why it's had, like, multiple boring. peaks where, like, there were a lot of cases of people getting COVID. But nobody talked about it anymore because people just stopped caring. People, I don't, I don't want to hear about COVID anymore. I've already heard about COVID too many times. They're, 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 it's on DR. It's on, it's on cooldown. And so if Mr. Beast is able to just simply ignore it for long enough, the people that are fixating on it will seem like conspiracy theorists and they'll seem mm -hmm. like they're being crazy. And then Mr. Beast wins. True. That's what happens. And I think that happens with every controversy. It's the same thing that happened with like Logan Paul controversy. Nobody's talking about crypto zoo anymore. Nobody cares about it anymore. It's over have a valid response because he's not mainstream because it's not trendy tim bro internet is such a dumb place right now it's to the fact that they've most likely violated sweepstakes law on multiple separate occasions hired a sex offender knowingly which destroys the image of a child-friendly mm -hmm. channel and a whole bunch more chronic failures that they're quite yeah. obviously attempting to shove under the rug but even when they use the strategy of avoiding legitimate complaints in favor of the ones that they can brush off more yeah. easily they still look bad because it's not the first or the only problem they've had when it comes to food. Beast Burger, which was one of the earlier attempts at making a food mm. business, resulted in a hundred million dollar lawsuit because it was mismanaged trash. Feastables ran a highly Brosman go to stick. What do you so mean? So Mr. Beast Burger, Mr. Beast was sued. I need more information by about the this. People that did Mr. Beast Burger, not because it was mismanaged but because Mr. Beast called them out on it being mismanaged. So basically they got sued, Mr. Beast got sued for defamation and he got sued for contact bre or contract breach. He didn't get sued because Mr. Beast was mismanaging it. Mr. Beast got sued because he said that it was being mismanaged, which damaged their relationship and damaged the company, in which case they sued them. So the mismanagement is in Mr. Beast's responsibility, but it was not his fault. Of course. But boom, everyone is attacking Mr. Beast because he is the face. And people want to some have something. Mr. Beast sued them. Yes, and Mr. Beast also countersued them. So a little bit of, uh, you know, a little fact check there. But like, yes, that's actually what happened. Who won? Who cares? I don't, I don't know. Why are they selling a post-workout drink to children? Because kids like drinking stuff with caffeine. True. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. True. Did it come true that it was mismanaged? I think it was evident that the ghost kitchens that were making Mr. Beast burgers did not have a quality standard that was being upheld. Like, there were so many points of data of that happening, it was pretty obvious that they were fucking up. Suspect lottery system in Australia, which I'm pretty sure is going to come back around to bite them soon here, and also decided to remove the no slave labor claim from their website, which again resulted in controversy. And now they're launching a So now they don't have... Wait a second. Feastables? Wait, I want to see if they got rid of the page. What is this? Error 404 four, four not found. Mr. Beast, want you to join the crew? Yes, I mean, I'm not interested. What is this? So does this mean that they have slaves make the Feastables? Or that there's pieces of slaves in the Feastables and they're like part of the recipe? Like, because I, I, I don't know which one it is. Why not both? That's a good point. Yeah, why not both? I'm buying them now, of course. Competitor, which contains Prime Energy as the drink. Naturally. And Prime Energy has had not one, not two, not They've three, not four, lawsuits. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve separate products that are alleged by the Environmental Research Center mm -hmm. to contain lead or mercury. Lead is really good for kids because it makes it to where they can't do math. <laughs> and mercury is good for them too because that way they can't uh they can't see anything so yeah having lead and mercury in your drink that's uh you know again pretty risky business strategy there
while the founder of Prime Hydration claims that their new Lunchables competitor <sighs> is better for you because mm -hmm. Lunchables previously got accused of go. having lead in I lost it. Yeah. You couldn't make this shit up if you tried. Anyway, bottom line... Well, let's be honest. I don't think anybody really cares about the truth of any of this. People are just using this as a platform to hate on Logan Paul and Mr. Beast because... Let's go! He said what I said. People just love to hate! As people don't like them. Uh, I don't even know whether these accusations are true or not. Now, here's what I think. I think that if you label your... your I don't think that you should be allowed to label a food product as healthy unless you, like, fulfill certain criteria. And I think if you do that without fulfilling that criteria then you should be sued or you should get fined or you should go to jail or something, right? Mm -hmm. Like, the idea that you can just say something is healthy is insane. That's crazy. So, yeah, one small... Right. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, in EU, they do? I don't know about in EU. I have no idea. It's false advertising. Is it surprised, though? Yeah, sure. Uh, the kids playing with a dead body in the woods and streaming it? Psychopathic behavior? Yeah, yeah, this is the same person, exactly. And so, uh, yeah, that's that's what I think. Is that a lawsuit has appeared, a class action lawsuit, aimed at Beast Holdings and Amazon. Because the Beast Games program, allegedly, is so horrifically mismanaged, yep. it's a danger to people's health and safety. Exciting. The lawsuit is likely to disappear now as it fades into the obscurity of backroom deals that's and right. disclosure agreements. However, the damage is done when it comes to public reputation. Final thoughts here. I don't think he's going to go down. I don't think that there is any long-term damage that can't be repaired. I think that also, like, it it doesn't matter what... The thing is, like, it's it's like, he won't be the first YouTuber anymore at some point. That That's the thing. But he will still make the same money. He will still be keep doing this it doesn't matter what but people will be super happy when they say we finally destroyed mr beast this is his downfall and they they will forget about him he'll keep doing the same thing and that's it only asmo goat's opinion matters uh you you don't have to think it that way i mean this is for everything i feel like right now we have so much information in the internet and there is so much false information as well and if you don't know how to take this information that is right and to remove the wrong information, you're fucking doomed. And there is a lot of people that the first thing they hear think it's, it's true. They don't even uh, check the information somewhere else or try to make a quick research, at least quick research, not whole research. And they start talking about this stuff. They, they start talking that they know how things work, how things... They, they feel like they know everything. Let's say one short, they hurt something from one short. Ah, why your shoulder hurts and it says that you have hurt problems. Exactly, exactly. This is the same thing. Okay, there is a... Okay, let's say your your shoulder. Your shoulder is hurt, right? So you, you try to find the information. The right thing is to go to a doctor. The thing is, even the doctor could be wrong. You have to think it that way. That's why if you want to to be sure this is literally the same as information take the doctor as information as well G he gives you some information about your shoulder your shoulder hurts you because of something he gives you one reason right but he could be wrong as well think about it that's why you, you go to second doctor third doctor and fourth doctor if they keep saying the same thing okay this is the reason but if you go in four different doctors and they say different things okay you have a really big problem maybe you're your country have no idea or like uh, the medicine in this country is totally terrible but that's another thing you have information from one resource you have information from other resource maybe if 99 percent of the things saying it's true okay and then, then i can be sure but it's still one percent that it's it could be wrong so think about this percent as well i went to a doctor and it was perfectly fine see the thing is I like a lot of people cannot understand that. A lot of people just realize how internet works. They don't know how to use internet, right? So they take the first information that they get and they make this information true, even if it's not true. The medias are the same. Everyone is doing something for more views. 
And of course, something that sounds crazy, something that sometimes it's not even true, get more views. So people keep doing this and other people st still keep believing every shit they hear. Sci even science cannot, exp cannot explain something which they make with math and physics and they still are not sure about it. But we hear one thing from some random guy on the internet and we think it's true. That's super dumb. Do you know what I talk about? Google is useless about health. No, I, I feel like internet is insane place for information. I can say that because let's say 100 years ago or 200 years ago, you have no information. You're just dumb because the only way you can find information is through books. And to find the perfect book, kind of hard. Now you have all the information. All you have to do is find the way to work with this information. What can cause lower back pain? Hmm, I feel like your question is wrong. Lower back pain. There could be a lot of things. You could have a knife on your back, you know? <laughs> it says smoking. Yeah, of course. Like a lot of things can cause something that at some point get to your back. Smoking can cause lower back pain. Yes, 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 yes. If something cause damage to your body, let's say your lungs, right? The damage that the smoking made to your lungs at some point can make damage to something else around. Mm, not around, but... Uh, okay, body is kind of hard to be explained. Even uh, specifically in English. Uh, let's say it's like way. If one thing breaks, something else can break because of this. It's like puzzle, not puzzle, uh, domino, domino effect. What you've done, it matters what you've done lately. And if he just keeps making good content and the content is good, then people will totally forget about it. I think that I'm really a very good example of this, <laughs> where I will have like a video about every month that will get half of my audience to hate me. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe I have prediction. Maybe Asmon Goat will never get downfall because the guy doesn't care. He says whenever he wants. He says, um, "You're a fat, and that's why you're fat." Ta 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 ta. And he hates uh, fat people. Let's say, but fat people start hating him, and he's back. It doesn't matter because he's just honest person. It doesn't matter because I'm putting out so much content that people forget about it. And the same exact thing happens on Twitter. There's so much stuff that's negative about me <laughs> that nobody can keep up with everything. <laughs> so they just, yeah, Doc is the best example. Doc is actually an insanely good example. I'll ta Let's talk about that after this. Remind me to talk about the Doc stuff after this. I want to know about the or any of the moral issues or the. Is he gonna problems. talk about it? The stuff that yeah. genuinely. No, he won't talk about it. I want like to know this, about it. Buried in the most recent lawsuit, but in my opinion, much more. I feel it's like practically anything else it contains entirely. Something mm -hmm. more. Quote, Defendants knowingly misclassified the contestants blank in part to obtain a tax credit for two million two hundred fifty-two thousand five hundred twenty-three dollars. That's smart. That's a lot of money. <laughs> Nevada, yeah. which defendants on information and belief would not have received if they had disclosed the production's actual labor costs, mm -hmm. including the significant labor of the blank contestants in the budget they presented to the Nevada Film Commission with their tax credit application, end quote. Uh -oh. Once again, straying into the realm of speculation on my part, Mr. Beast's game show productions mm -hmm. have routinely used their own employees as contestants. Hey. There are myriad cases where personal friends, work staff, significant others, etc., production there managers, were a lot of them, have yeah. all competed as if they are legitimate random subscriber contestants. Yep. Now, whether or not that's lying to the audience, this, that, or the other, doesn't matter. It's just that they take their staff, their employees, shove them in a competition as if they're a contestant in that competition. That's the important mm -hmm. through line here. And if I'm reading this right, it sounds like the same may have happened here with a misclassification of who these people are or how they relate to the company sure. in order to obtain millions in tax credits. And that is where, in my estimation, there can be actual damaging consequences. A lot I of think stuff this lawsuit is really primarily against Amazon. Like, Mr. Beast isn't going to pay out a massive settlement because I bet they probably don't have that, mon that much cash that they actually have. Like, not compared to Amazon. Like, Amazon can write them a check for $100 million, and it won't even really matter, right? 
and it'll be probably like a lot less than that too, like fifteen million dollars. Like imagine Amazon is putting out this show; it's gonna call, it's gonna make them a billion dollars potentially, and they have to spend an extra fifteen million dollars. Do you think they really care about this? Yeah, somebody's gonna get in trouble for it, and somebody might get fired for it. But like, <laughs> this isn't going to destroy the business model. He's done is reprehensible. Yes, yeah, but if this lawsuit is accurate, filing false paperwork to get money that you should not have from the government is when you stray into the territory of windbreakers kicking down your door. Yeah, and yes, people with a lot of money routinely violate laws or get away with mm -hmm. crimes that the rest of us would immediately get destroyed for. Ooh. But when your reputation turns toxic like this, you become a fair target for people who want to score easy political points. If you're the golden boy philanthropist who mm -hmm. everybody loves, then people just look the other way when you destroy something or break a bunch yeah, of rules. Sure. If you're the self-centered narcissist who's endangering people and refusing any sort of accountability while taking millions in tax credits that they shouldn't have, nailing you for fraud isn't some sort of risk to someone's reputation. It's an easy benefit to them. I think that you can look at Trump or Martin Shkreli as examples of that. I think that's probably true. No, he, he does make a good example of that. That's true. At the end of the day, I can't say with any degree of certainty what will happen, but them. I can speculate mm -hmm. that the lawsuit itself disappears while major surrounding players begin to wake up, get some distance, I think, and figure out how exactly they want to handle this upstart guy making waves where he shouldn't be making waves. That's it. If you want to support the channel, check out the links down below, Locals and Patreon, the video sponsor, Surfshark, of course, and more, but I'll cut it there and stop rambling. Oh. And for people that care, yes, this is way too much content about the same topic lately. This I've just over well, this and over is talked new. about Mr. Beast. I mean, this is a new lawsuit. Cycle, so there it is. Yeah, the what the projects, fuck? The however, I'm working on are a revisit of cancel culture featuring Sarah Daniels and Chris Barrett. Oh, God. A thing and a creator named Say No to Rage from a while ago. It's a fun one from a few Cancel years back. culture. And another round of social <laughs> media bot network stuff featuring <laughs> dead internet without topics work. and AI. And a couple indie spotlights for video games Ooh. that I've been delaying for months at this point, but... I'm working on them. As always, thank you all for watching. Question everything and have a nice night. Well, I think this is what's going to happen with pretty much everything is Mr. Beast is going to be able to successfully ignore this for long enough that people will lose interest in the topic and then it will no longer negatively affect him. I think that's what's going to happen. There's the video. Give it a like. Uh, I've watched a lot of Upper Echelon videos. Uh, he's been great. And uh, I'm going to be honest. Like, uh, I, I think that he was right with a lot of this stuff. I just think... I think that a lot of people that haven't been in the crosshairs of a lot of negative attention very vastly overestimate the effect of the negative attention that you get. Like, I, I've had many, many times, and this is over, like, five years, <laughs> where, like, thousands of people tried to cancel me. Thousands of people fucking hated me, right? Everybody fucking hated me. It never matters as long as you keep making content, and you keep making content that people want to see. That is the only thing that matters. That's it. And so if you don't do, if you do that, you're going to be okay. And I think that's what Mr. Beast and Logan Paul do. And I think it's going to work because eventually the people that keep bringing it up are going to look like annoying people that can't let the past they go. They are annoying and because they have no life. And you're already seeing this happen with Mr. Uh, with uh, Upper Echelon having to say with the Mr. Beast topic that people are tired of hearing about it because that's the way everything goes. I think that they're primarily suing Amazon and not Mr. Beast. I think Mr. Beast is probably just named in this lawsuit. I'm not sure if I can really find it here. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up and, and show you guys. Um, so if you look at it right here. White. Um, plaintiffs for contestant one. Oh, fuck, it's hard to say. Defendants. It doesn't really quite say. It's just showing the law firm, so it's hard for me to say. But, um, yeah, they're mainly trying to get that money out of, out of fucking Amazon, not Mr. Beast, let's be honest. The fact that Mr. Beast still has a platform or any sponsors is disgusting. Why? Why is it disgusting that Mr. Beast has a platform when Hollywood has... Anything bad that Mr. Beast has done, Hollywood and big companies have done things that are infinitely worse on a scale that's unimaginable. 
Like th this is the problem that I think a lot of people have is that you think that this is some kind of unique evil. It doesn't <laughs> make it any better. Well, it does in a way. Because you're painting this as if it's like a unique evil. Like, wow, I can't believe this person has a platform. Well, look at all the other companies that do bad stuff and still have a platform. This shouldn't be surprising. This is actually the way it normally is. You're throwing opinions? Uh, B is playing out opinions uh, uh, world? Is that another level? Yeah, I mean, sure. Uh, what is this? If you can get more viewers, you stream shirtless. Type it again, you're going to get banned, okay? Actually, uh... Let me ban you. Yeah, yeah, no, you're really <laughs> annoying. You're permanent. Okay, anyway, yeah, I just, I read a few of his logs. It's just an annoying retard. Anyway, um... So that's the way it is. The problem is he hiding behind the mask of a saint. Yeah, I think that's going to make people mad for sure. Definitely. But a lot of companies do that. And uh, what you have to remember about the public is the public is stupid. The public is so easily manipulated. They're yep. so stupid. And they can be easily taken advantage of like animals. Mm -hmm. And I think Mr. Beast knows that. Mm -hmm. He's smart. I don't think Mr. Beast is stupid. People are retarded. They are. They're retarded. Look at this. It's funny how people talk about people, how they are retarded. 114 million. 180 million views. Yeah, you're definitely gonna cancel him, guys. Yeah, yeah. Everyone is just trying to make stuff. Imagine. Views. Don't fold Mr. Beast. Good luck. 180 million views. Huh. <laughs> 98 million views. Views are still up. If you look at this one, 245, 127. <laughs> like, there are plenty of videos. Like, if you look at a lot of these, his views haven't even really gone down. How? Yeah, basically, boosts from Mr. Beast. When people make him look bad, they boost his channel because more people want to know about him. And at some point, they got to his um, channel. They watch the video and boom, pretty boost. I mean, they see only bad stuff, most of them. I think Einstein said something like that. Yeah, the example was basically if you start with that, one by, multiplied by one is one, two multiplied by two is, two, is four, uh, three, three is nine, and so on and so on, until you got to ten, right? You go ten multiplied by ten and you say two hundred. Everyone will start laughing because you made a mistake. Because it's so easy. To, how you you don't know that 10 uh, multiplied by 10 is 100 and it's not 200. And he says that you didn't notice that I made 9 right answers. But I did one mistake and you start laughing. Imagine.